welcome to the second part of the building custom room series and in this series we'll be installing the GUI for the system to be able to have a desktop environment and then we'll move on to building our custom room if you are someone who really likes CLI and then you don't want any GUI no problem you can skip this video now that you are someone who is willing to use the GUI let's begin first make sure that you have powered on your virtual machine and in the last section i didn't show you how to power it off it is easy well you can just open your virtual machine and then type reboot or power off so now this is my ssh i can just do power off to power it off in case that is not really convenient for you just come to your google cloud console and then come to the vm instances and if you come there click on the three dots here if you do that it's going to show more options and then click on stop and clicking on the stop will stop it completely now that you know how to do that already let's come and focus on creating a gui for our system now to create a gui graphical user interface for our system we we'll need to download various stuff well, the first thing you need to do is do the sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. After running the sudo apt update and, and sudo apt upgrade, do sudo apt install Ubuntu desktop. Well, I want to use genome, so you can just do Ubuntu genome desktop. Because the default desktop environment for Ubuntu is still genome, so you can choose to remove the genome. Now, if this command starts to run, please click on the dash Y to uh, avoid this question. So, if you just want to keep moving, just click on the Y and then hit on enter. Now that the Ubuntu desktop is installing in our SSH system, you just have to open your web browser and make sure you install this no machine in your system. So type, open your web browser and type no machine. Our original site is no machine.com and I'll put this in the description so you don't need to struggle. Now no machine is opened. Click on the download here and then click on the, sorry, click on the three dash line which is navigation menu and then click on download and then choose the operating system you are on if you are on windows choose no machine for windows if you are on mac 2 and i'm currently on linux environment so i'll choose linux now on the linux environment that i'm on i'm on ubuntu 24.04 sorry 2404 and i'm on the debian package so i'll choose to install this one this is for 64-bit operating system and this is for 32-bit operating systems. Now the site is loaded, scroll down and click on download. Now the download has begun. Also, you need to copy this download link. Let's cancel this download. You have to right click on this one and then click on copy download link. Now that you have copied the download link, open your web, sorry, open your terminal. Now your op terminal is opened. Do wget dash y and then paste the command. Well, it says the dash y isn't a command, so please remove the dash y from there and then do the command again. Now you just do the wget and then paste the download link and this is going to download. Now the wget command is done running so we have to install the no machine. Well the no machine is stored in my home directory and it's no wrong. So this is it. So do sudo dpkg dash y dash i no machine just click on tab to autofill type in your sudo password and then wait for it to load well if you like this uh, my terminal style and then my whole computer setup you can just comment down and i'll show you i'll make a video on how to get this look and also you can see i have a material u system uh, with this everywhere is themed with the wallpaper color 
so if you want this you can just comment it and i'll show you now no machine is installing let's check up on the ubuntu installation here it is asking uh, which server should be restarted uh, just don't select any click on tab and then click on space now the ubuntu desktop is done installing we have to install no machine in the system too but before you install the new machine you have to configure certain things in the system to work so now let's begin configuration firstly you need to create a user so to create a user you have to do sudo add user then the username well this username is going to be htex1 give it a password don't leave it uh, with no password so just give it a password skip all of these ones and then click on y click on enter the, the password creation and then the account creation is done now you have to give this user a super user right you have to give it a super user right so that you can have the root right so to give it a root right use this command the command goes like this sudo user mod dash ag capital g then sudo give a comma adm then give the person's name so the one we created earlier was htex1 well if you seem not to understand this command this is the meaning the sudo is actually asking for super user rights the user mode is pointing out to the current user uh, the user you are trying to modify a user and then the ag is used to add a user to a sudo group so the ag is actually adding the user to the sudo group here and then the ADM mean admin and then the user that you want to give this right so click on enter and it says uh, the user mode group doesn't exist so let's look for this and then let's configure it the reason why I think it's doing that is because of this little space we left in there so let's just fill the space out and then hit on enter again now you just have to remove this space don't put space between the sudo uh, and in the comma and ADM don't do that so now that you have been able to give your super user right to the htex1 user do sudo dash i to enter into the super user of htex the root directory of all the users now that you are in the root directory of all the users I want you to look up for this file so just type ls etc ssh and now sshd just go to the ssh and then click on enter well i have to put a forward slash at the beginning of the etc now we we are looking for sshd config so let's see if it is in this list and this is the sshd config we have to modify the sshd config so to uh, modify it uh, we have to make sure if what we are looking for we want to modify it's already modified or not so to do that use the cat command so cat forward slash etc forward slash sshd forward slash sshd dash config now click on enter now we have to look for password authentication in this list if you have a password authentication to be yes then you can leave it but if you have it to be no then you have to modify it to yes so here you can see the password authentication here is yes already so we don't need to modify it but in case it is no let me show you how to modify it do nano instead of the cat here so just type nano in this list so if you type nano And then you look for the password authentication so you have to scroll all the way down and you can see this is the password authentication it says yes 
so as you can see that this uh, has a hashtag here so just remove the hash and then make sure it is yes now click on uh, control x control x y enter to exit the nano now that is already done so we can keep moving on now that you have given it all the rights we can now install the no machine in this system so to install no machine in this system you have to do the wget and then the link we copied earlier well we copy the link from the no machine page from this side copy and then come to the ssh and paste the link here now the download is done do dpkg dash i then the new machine Now the new machine installation is done in our virtual machine, so do reboot. Now the system is now gone into reboot mode. Just close this window and close this one also. So now you have to make sure the machine is off, so turn the virtual machine off. By clicking on the more actions and then clicking on stop. Now click on stop again. In our terminator, let's check. You can see that the new machine is done with the terminator. So let's just close our terminal and then let's come to. You can see there's a new machine here. So you just have to make sure that is done. And then you have to make sure the VM is stopped. So now the VM is stopped successfully. The next thing you have to do is to configure the VPC network state. So come to uh, the navigation menu here again. And then come scroll down to VPC network. So now I'll click on the VPC network. Inside the VPC network, click on firewall. Now, in this firewall, you have to create a new firewall rule. Well, this rule, I have already created it and I will remove this rule and then I will create it. This is the firewall rule you have to create. The no machine firewall rule. So now, let me delete this and then let me create it from scratch so that you can also do it. The firewall rule has been deleted successfully. So now, let's create a new firewall rule. This firewall rule has the name no machine fw so type no machine dash fw then copy this one and then i'm come to the description you can just write the same no machine fw and then on the uh, logs here please leave the logs you can leave it to uh, off and then the tag here, make sure the tag has no machine FW. And then the tag IP address, uh, do 0 .0 .0 0 .0. Sorry, the dot has to be 3. So that's 3, 0 already. Then give forward slash 0. Now you have to make sure the uh, protocol is 4,000. So let's come to this place and then look for the IP protocol. So now you have to make sure the TCP is thick. So if the TCP is thick, click on the port and then type 4000, which is 4000, not UDP. Let's be TCP. Well, no machine might be using UDP, but the moment it sees this port, it will change to TCP automatically. So with that, you don't need any other, you don't need to do any other thing. That is it. So you can just come down here and then click on create. Now the rule has been created successfully and let's check if it is there. There you can see the rule here. Now let's go back to our virtual machine. In our virtual machine, make sure that 
the H text here. Make sure that the machine we are currently working on is off. Now you can see that it is currently off. Now, since it is off, click on the machine itself. Click on the name, which is H text. And then if it comes to this page, click on the edit on the top here. If it's downloading, scroll down. So you scroll down to the firewall section and this is the firewall section. And in this section, type the new machine FW that you copied from the last one. So new machine FW, paste it here. Sorry, I pasted it twice. Click on save. After clicking on this page, it brings you to the detailed page. So just click on the VM instance here so that it will take you straight to the VM instance. Now that we have added our required Firefox, sorry, firewall, just power on the VM instance, which is the htex VM instance. And let's begin connecting it to the no machine system. So power it on and let's begin. So to do that, just click on the start, select it and click on start or resume and then click on start on the pop-up menu that appears. You can see it is started successfully. So you have to copy the external IP address. The external IP address you are seeing here, you have to copy it. Now that you have copied the external IP address, you have to open the new machine that you have installed in your system. Now the new machine is open successfully. Just keep clicking on OK. And then we want to see this screen. Well, I want dark mode. I don't have a good eyes. So let me do that very quick. So now click on, click here to create a machine. Or you can click on the plus button here to add a machine. Now the machine name is htex. And then the host, which is uh, the external ip we copied have to be here now click on the add button here now if you click on the add button double click on the no machine and then when it says this click on ok now type the password that we created the, the username the, and the one we created from the uh after installing the ubuntu desktop i made it htex1 and then add my password and after you do that click on ok and then it says connection display just click on ok on this yes on this click on ok 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 now to configure the display it is not looking quite good so